2020 has changed the world as we know it. It laid bare the persistent inequalities and fragility of health systems all over the world. COVID-19 has dealt unimaginable grief and devastating financial hardship. Women, children, and adolescents were particularly affected as the pandemic disrupted health and family planning services, childhood immunizations, and care for pregnant women. Even as health services become more available, the knock-on economic impact of the pandemic threatens to make them out of reach to many who cannot afford to pay. I know you share my view that this is simply not acceptable as we move forward. Today, a long road remains ahead, but we cannot lose sight of what has been achieved by working together. We owe a debt of gratitude to the heroic health workers on the front lines all over the world, and to the governments who acted quickly, to scientists and researchers who made what once seemed impossible become possible, to civil society partners who were the eyes and ears of health systems in communities, and the voice of the poorest and most vulnerable. I say, on behalf of the GFF team, thank you. COVID-19 shows that no country, agency, or partner can do it alone. At the GFF, we have been humbled to support country leaders on the front lines through financing and technical assistance, working in concert with all our partners. We are redoubling our efforts to ensure that the gains made before COVID-19 are not lost. There will be no recovery without investing in the health of women, children, and adolescents. 2021 provides a brief but closing window of opportunity to reclaim the gains and work together to build a more resilient and equitable future. On behalf of the GFF, I want to thank you all for your commitment and efforts and wish you and all your loved ones and communities all the very best in this holiday season. Thank you.